Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to Bee and KBs. Today is Saturday, May 16th, and I am out at a bee yard making nukes. So I have uh, 13 nukes in the back of the truck that are done. I have three more hives to go through, and I need to create a cell builder. So I need to find the three queens and make certain that I don't put them in this builder and fill the builder up with brood frames. Uh, so now I can kind of take it a little slower because I had to get those 13 nukes done um, Which is why I didn't do a video during that because You never really know how long that's going to take you know It's all dependent upon how quickly you can find Queens how quickly you can find ample brood frames and food frames and all that kind of stuff And so because of the fact that I needed to get that done today because those cells need to be placed in the nukes tomorrow um, I needed to be quick and make certain that I got that required amount done. But now that's done, so let's uh, be a little bit more relaxed, go through these three colonies, and create a cell builder. All right, so we've got a heavy food frame here. Calm bees, which I love to see. The last colony I got into wasn't so calm. Another heavy food frame. No queen. Beautiful brood frame, both sides jam packed. Beautiful brood pattern. No queen. Ooh, another beautiful brood frame. Both sides. Fantastic. This is going to make a good looking builder. Of course, like I said, I need to find the queen. I can't just be throwing frames in there. Okay, we got them working on a cell on the bottom part of this frame here. Rip that off. No queen. Another brood frame with more cells. Okay, I'm ripping those cells off because I'm going to put these in a cell builder. Um, I don't necessarily recommend people do this all the time because you can leave your hive hopelessly queenless if you make a habit of doing that. Say if, they, if I rip these all off and they swarm tomorrow, they're going to have a hard time making a queen. But of course, I'll make certain that what I leave here either has a queen or has the ability to make one. And what I put in the cell builder has no queen. They will have the ability to make one, but I'll rip those cells out in a week. Lots and lots of young bees. I don't see the queen. I assume she's in here. 
got a bunch of uncapped cells, which is another indication indication that she's in here. <clears throat> um, and the population level doesn't look like it sent out a swarm recently. So I bet she's here. I just haven't seen her yet. There's a nice food frame with a ton of bee bread uh, that will go really, really well in a cell builder. Okay. Check this frame one more time. I highly doubt she's on it. empty and light. Now here's some food. Okay, so I don't know where that video cut off. Um, this colony was swarm ready. I did find the queen. She's in that bottom, or no, she's on that frame that's leaning up against the bottom box. So now I'm gonna go through here and start taking. Okay, bee bread and nectar, beautiful. I will give them pollen sub, but the fresh pollen is always a welcome addition. <clears throat> Here's more pollen and a little patch of brood. Uh, I do have to look for queen cells because, as I said, this colony was swarm ready. One brood. This is a lot of young stuff. Let me see if I can avoid using that. And give it to the bottom box. Another young brood frame. Let's see if I can avoid using that. Okay, now we're getting into the good stuff. It's got food, it's got brood. That's a good addition sorry if i'm not showing you these guys these frames correctly but there's two brood here's another beautiful sheet of brood checking for cells there's three brood i like to have eight brood frames in there at least Another beautiful brood frame, a little cell being started down here. Could just be a cup, but it'll get removed for safety's sake. So that's a beautiful frame to add to a cell builder because that'll be a lot of bees here in a few days. So that's four brood. Ooh. 
Oh boy, this colony was killing it. Another beautiful brood frame. Checking for cells. I don't think I missed any. I pulled the ones off of that one earlier. So that's five brood. So a yellow jacket. Here's a heavy food frame. Okay. So now I'm going to try to get those other frames back into that box. Now they get a rock on the front of the hive to indicate to me that it needs a honey super. Alright, another busy box of bees, which is good. That's what I need right now. got food, glistening dandelion nectar, <clears throat> and we got some more of that, glistening with dandelion nectar, no queen, bee bread and more nectar. <clears throat> and now we're into some brood, brood and bee bread and some drone brood. Side covered with brood as well. No queen that I see. All right, they as well are starting on some cells. I almost just flipped the frame over, but she's right there. And now I can finish up that starter. All right, the camera's still rolling too. Shoot, stuff's just working for me today. Okay. Put up 13 nukes in about two hours. Put up a cell builder and two hives. Today has gone pretty darn well. It's easy when all these colonies look like this, making splits and nukes and all that kind of stuff. All right.
good for him because he's got some cap stuff and a lot of nectar. Okay, so that's eight. Okay, so that is the starter. It's got eight brood frames, two food frames, and in one week I will pull the cells that they have inevitably created and uh, make sure that their food's right and make sure that they're just booming with nurse bees. And uh, at that point I will graft into them. So uh, yeah, that's the process. I think I've showed that before this year. But so this will be for the fourth draft of the year. We've done two already. I'm going to do another one on Monday. Uh, today's Saturday, so not tomorrow, but the next day. Uh, and then this one will be uh, after that. So that'll be round number four. So thank you very much for watching. If you guys want some of these queens, head to bkbs.com. Should be more than enough for everybody. So uh, thank you for your support. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and have some fun with your bees. See ya.